Welcome to House of Pearl Zeroff. Seventh Generations Technology, a couple businesses that I have, but I also think there's a, a very important message that I want to get out. Um, in lots of different areas, uh, I feel it's very important, and that is wisdom. The wisdom of the elders, there's so much of it to go around, and so many people missing it. People who already invented the wheel, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You need to find the right person to learn from and build upon that. Stand on the shoulder of giants, right? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. You're, you're building a legacy for yourself and you're doing it from tested past successes, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, what's, what is, what's, the, what's the good word of the day? House of Pearls are off. We love to do this. We create slides. We create sayings that we think that can make your day better. So um, what is the saying? One of the sayings today, I picked a couple for presentation. Uh, for one is, all I need to focus on here is to be wise, right? So let me repeat that again. All I need to focus on here is to be wise. Let's do this like magic, you know? You, you say things numerous times, you chant them. It has power. All I need to focus on here is to be wise. Right? Okay, so what does that mean? Well, we can get really uh, impacted by society and life and just not be able to take the time to think about what are we need to go. We just sit here and we have all these things coming into our head to stress, we, we're picking up, we know somebody's demanding something of us and we, and we want to help people, we get that. We want to meet demands, we want to make things better for others, we don't want people to suffer, I get that, that's a good thing. We also have to take time for ourselves. We also have to sometimes step back and let a person develop their skills because you can't do everything. You can't, if you're helping 100 people, you can't do the job of 100 people. We know that, they know that. Um, they, of course, when people are young, they, they actually don't know that. It's like a baby, if you hide a toy from a baby, a baby might not know that that toy um, has gone somewhere, it's actually still there, it's just disappeared, and they may actually believe that it's gone. Just like people who believe their talents are gone, they get in a horrible situation, they go through a lot of stress, and they believe that they can no longer make the right decisions, and they have to go to their guru, uh, and that's only good to a degree. Um, a guru can help you if they're an honest person and try to get you back on the right path, but in the end, we've gotta get other people to do the work and heavy lifting too. We can't do all the heavy lifting. So. Um, that was, uh, let's repeat that, that one more time, just because it's so powerful. All I need to focus on here is to be wise. All I need to focus on here is to be wise. All I need to focus on here is to be wise. Wise in your decision making. Focusing on what is important, not focusing on what is not important. Not focusing on the negative, not focusing on what you cannot change. Try to change what you can change and then we'll get back to the harder stuff that you have no answer answers for right now. So all I need to focus on here is to be wise and to make wise choices, indeed. So now I wanna move on with another comment, another quote for the day, uh, based on our slide presentations, our graphic presentations that we put on LinkedIn and Facebook and other places. So this is a whole product that I'm developing and I'm gonna do it slowly and surely and we're going to get there and it's going to change lives it's going to impact people because information they're getting isn't helping them sometimes sometimes they're getting all the information they don't need they're getting told why they can't do something why they're not enough why they're stupid why they're not smart why they're not capable that's exactly what we are not about we are here to tell you you need to tweak things maybe you need to make small changes maybe your focus needs to go somewhere else Maybe you need to quit wasting your energy on trivial pursuits. We only have so much energy in the day. We are limited, we are limited creatures. One thing I like to do, the, um, the, the enigmatic creature of the Capricorn, the goat, uh, and one thing they say about the Capricorn is their recognition, recognition of limits. Why would they climb so high on the mountain? Because they know that other people can't climb that high. They know that others are limited. They're limited too, that mountain only goes so high the energy only, we only have so much energy. I'm not saying we can't get more, but on a daily basis, we have to be very careful that we don't surpass limits that the creator didn't even mean us to surpass. People out of greed 
will will destroy things. They'll destroy land. They'll destroy beauty. They'll destroy even existence of animals. They'll destroy other human beings. Why? Because they think that others, there's no limit. There's no limit to their abuse. And some of this comes from being young and children who don't recognize limits. They have to be taught that everyone has limits, including themselves. That everybody has to rest. Everybody needs peace. Everybody needs time to heal and to grow. Everybody needs these things. We also have the market, uh, the market, the fiscal markets where unlimited growth is kind of pushed by some people in, in, in the industry. Um, growth has to come from somewhere, uh, but maybe, hopefully, not at the expense of somebody's well being and health. We know that the communists killed so many people. What we don't discuss about is the hidden cost of capitalism, and, and there's different forms of capitalism. Capitalism, of course, is not bad. Neither is socialism. Socialism is practiced in the family. You decide not to practice socialism with your wife or your significant other or your husband. That relationship won't last very long. Um, so socialism here is here. Capitalism is here. All these systems exist. There's many more systems than that. But let's get back to a piece of wisdom. I don't want to get you politically mad because... You are probably correct if you want to argue with me. I would say you probably have a very correct argument to present to me. I'm asking you to see a bigger picture. And so that's always good to do. Now, our second quote of the day. House of Pearls are off. Presents seventh generation technologies, LLC. Listen, receive, chill, have fun with it. Be light, be playful. Enjoy the conflict even. Wow, that's a lot. Let me say this again. It's almost like a phrase. It's really two sentences. But listen, receive, chill, have fun with it, be light, be playful, enjoy the conflict. Ah, these are very important things, aren't they? Indeed, they are very important. And what does that mean? Enjoy the moment. Don't let no one take away your joy of the moment. You are not here just to exclusively meet someone's needs. Someone might say, well, I paid you you paid me does that give you unlimited access to me no i'm not an ai robot that's why we need to build ai robots we need these computerized phone systems these ai robots that can take care of us and humanity uh self-driving cars we need that even if we could only do it in one small fraction of an in uh maybe we can just put one simple product together that's self-driving um for example i can think of a couple examples and um you know, where people are tired, they need something to take over and give them a break. So if you can recognize that you get tired, you should recognize that the poor can, can get, get tired. And that, you know, somebody can say, someone has unlimited debt they, they have to pay. That, that's, that doesn't mean they have unlimited, unlimited services that they can give. That's why we had bankruptcy, okay? I, I want to tell you there are limits. There are limits to the crazy statements of fiscal conservatives and crazy left-wingers. Right-wingers and crazy right-wingers and crazy left-wingers are way off the playing board. I want you to come down to earth so you can make real progress. I want you to come back to your center. You know your center. I don't know your center. I've never been in your shoes. You've never been in mine. We have ideas how that would be and with that being said, it's time to end this show, and I thank you so much for listening to House of Pearls Are Off, presented to you by 7th Generations LLC. Take care. God bless.